Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem and here we have a nice right triangle in which the length of its sides are m, m square and m cube respectively. Uh, so uh, here we have this is the any other angle of this triangle. So in the right triangle we know that the side opposite to the right angle is known as its hypotenuse. So this side is called the hypotenuse and the side opposite to the other angle is called the perpendicular or altitude and the third side which joins these two angles is called the base of this triangle. So uh, uh, another thing uh, we know about this right triangle is that uh, in right triangle the Pythagoras theorem is also hold uh, in it. So uh, here first we state the Pythagoras theorem and you know that about Pythagoras theorem it is hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So this is called the Pythagoras theorem of uh, which hold in the right triangle. And now here we uh, substitute the values of h, b and b. So here you have this is our hypotenuse and hypotenuse equals to m cubed. So it will be written as m cubed and its whole square equals to base square so our base is m so it will be written as m square and perpendicular is m square and its whole square and now in the next step here we need simplify the terms so here you see that we have exponent to the exponent so these exponents are multiplied by each other and we get m to the power of 6 equals to m square plus here we have again two exponents so it will becomes m to the power of 4. So after that here we need to divide both of the sides by m square because m square be the common term on both of the sides. So we divide both of the sides by m square and it will be written as in this form m to the power of 6 divided by m square equals to m square divided by m square plus m to the power of 4 divided by m square. So uh, in the next step uh, we have some simplification so this 2 is cancelled out by 6 and we obtain here 4 so it will be written as m to the power of 4 equals to this is cancelled out by this one and we get here plus 1 plus here this is cancelled out by this one and we get here m square. So here uh, we rearrange the terms and we move this 1 plus m square to the left hand side and it will be written as m to the power of 4 minus m square minus 1 equals to 0. So uh, in the next step here first we convert this uh, fourth order equation into the quadratic form uh, so that here we rewrite this equation in this form m square and its whole square because this is 4 and we break its exponent we write, we write in this form and minus m square minus 1 equals to 0. So uh, after that here we take uh, y equals to m square so we substitute this m square equals to y so this uh, equation will easily convert into the quadratic form so it will be written as uh, y square minus y minus 1 equals to 0. So this equation will become quadratic in y variable. So now here first we solve this quadratic equation uh, and we find the value of y. So here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. So here we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 1. And we know that about quadratic formula. Uh, it is written as y equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c here. And we obtain y equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 1 so it will become minus times of minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so our b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 
and this whole divided by 2 times of a and our a is also 1. So uh, now in the next step here we need a little bit simplifications here and we write it as y equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 1 and plus minus square root of minus 1 square so minus 1 square equals to plus 1 and this minus times of minus becomes plus 4 divided by 2. So uh, this expression will be written as 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So here we have uh, two cases. So uh, we just break this plus and minus sign and we write it as y equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And the second case is y equals to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So here we back substitute the values of y and here you see that we have the value of y is m square. So we back substitute this value here on both of these cases. So it will be written as m square equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And in this case m square equals to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So from both of these cases we write here this form but here you remember one thing is that our m square is the perpendicular side of this given triangle okay or m be the base of this triangle. So uh, we know about the sides uh, length of triangle uh, the side length of triangle is always positive but if you simplify this expression so this expression gives us the negative value. Okay, so oh, m square be the perpendicular side of given triangle, so it is not possible uh, and any side or length of triangle is negative. Okay, so that this is not possible case because it is not hold, uh, so we rejected this case. And now we can just focus on this case and in this case here in the right hand side we have this is the golden ratio. So this is known as the golden ratio and now we can just simplify this golden ratio and we find the value of m. So now in order to find the value of m here we need to take the square root on both of the sides so that it will be written as m square and its whole square root equals to square root of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we place the plus minus sign. So this 2 and square root are gone and we have m equals to here we have plus and minus value but uh, in order to choose the uh, in here we just choose the positive value because uh, m be the side length of the triangle so we cannot choose the negative value so we have the value of m equals to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and its whole square root so uh, the approximate value of this expression is 1.272 so this is the final value of m and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.